Want to get a little crazy? What are you thinking? Let's slide over to Sheldon's spot and make out. You are a dirty girl. To make out. To kiss with passion. Often involves what can be described as French kissing. To write something such as a bill or check. Examples. <sighs> whoa, 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 what's going on? You and I just made out. You and I are making out? Well, not anymore. <laughs> but we don't do that. I know, I just thought it would be fun. How drunk are you? Drunk enough that I know I want to do this. Not so drunk that you should feel guilty about taking advantage. Sure you want to do this? Give up your half of the 3D printer? Yes. And can you please make that out to Bernadette? I was taken off the joint account until I learned the value of money. Wow, that's harsh. Tell me about it. Check it out. No one will tell me where Emily is, so I'm going to send 72 long-stemmed red roses to her parents' house, one for each day that I've known and loved her. That ought to get her talking to me again. Oh, Ross, when you make out the card, be sure to make it out to Emily. <laughs> The super couldn't figure out what it did. The $200 an hour electrician couldn't figure out what it did. I've had seven pretty serious shocks. <laughs> I officially give up. Thank God. Yeah. Guess Joey was right. It does nothing. To give up. To stop trying to do something before you have finished. Usually because it is too difficult for you. To stop doing or to stop having something. To allow someone to have something that was yours. Examples. Student driver! Maybe you want to give it a rest and try again tomorrow. No. I quit. Uh, so wait, you're just gonna give up? No, I'm not giving up. No, I never give up. <laughs> I'm clearly too evolved for driving. <laughs> you know where I work. I do? The movie theater used to come in all the time. You still work at the multiplex? Well, I could give up that job. <laughs> free popcorn and candy anytime I want. <laughs> I get free posters for your room. Thanks, I'm set. Well, Nick sees an opening tonight. I thought maybe you guys would come over and watch it. I don't know, Ross. Uh, not if you're going to talk about how you gave up a career in basketball to become a paleontologist. I did give up a career in basketball to become a paleontologist. I only wish that I had someone there who had given up babies that could have told me how terrible it is to give up babies. I just think that it would be something that you would regret every single day for the rest of your life. So however hard it is for you to give up this puppy, well, it would be like a million times harder to give up a child. I think it's time to give up the bag. I don't want to give up the bag. <laughs> I don't have to give up the bag, do I, Paige? <laughs> You think I should give up the bag? Hey, hey, Joey, I'm sorry. I mean, as terrific as I think you are with it. Oh, hey. I just don't know if the world is ready for you and your bag. Is there any room in this pocket for a little spare Chang? Uh, look, we've been through a lot today. Um, Give us a little time to think it over. Totally, totally, man. Just think about it. Take your time and um, let me know. Bye. Bye. See ya. Okay. To think over. To consider an idea or plan carefully before making a decision. Examples. I agree with you on all things throughout history until the end of time forever. I hope you take the job. Change happens one person at a time. Good to meet you. <sighs> Again, think it over. Chris, Anne wants to ask you something right now. Go, Anne. In front of her? Yes, no more delays. Go. I want to have a baby. Will you be the sperm donor? The story of this situation is it's extremely personal. Think it over. Bye. You know, that guidance system was my idea. You figured out how to make it work. We didn't even need Sheldon. Let's not forget your idea was based on my theory. 
Hey, we're bagging on Sheldon here. Focus. <laughs> to bag on. To judge or criticize someone. To insult for fun. Examples. They can't starve to death, they're already dead. Uh, I guess it depends on the zombies, Raj. Are we talking slow zombies, fast zombies? Like in 28 days, if those zombies didn't eat, they starve. Yeah. You're thinking of 28 days later. 28 days is where Sandra Bullock goes to rehab and puts the audience into an undead state. <laughs> hey, don't bag on Sandra Bullock. You think it makes you look cultured, but you just come off as bitter. Look, we can still hang out. It's just, you know, we won't bag on people. Come on, Jeff, what are we gonna talk about? My, my kids, your, your doctor career. I was a lawyer. See, I'm already bored. The worst part was druthers. Well, I was thinking- Ceilings? Oops, said that already. Then again, you seem to like rehashing old ideas. I'm kidding, of course. Another hole in one, boss. Oh, wow, he must be really good looking. Why would you say that? Well, because only good looking people can get away with saying things like that. To get away with. To succeed in avoiding punishment for something. To manage to do something without any bad results. Examples. He left work in the middle of the day to do a personal errand and left you in charge when you've been working here for two days. That's not, that's not right. Yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> no, Joey, you can't let him get away with that. But you know what? No, I'm not gonna let him get away with that. I'm gonna say something to him. No, I really shouldn't say anything. No, I should say something to him. I'm guessing you didn't see Elliot. I waited in the lobby for like three hours. I beat my high score on Brick Breaker. Maybe I should just give up. But, no. No, no, no. Quitting is for losers. Except Oprah can get away with it. <laughs> and uh, maybe Nate and Serena. In fact, um, I'm going to kiss you now. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I, don't, I can't get away with stuff like that. It, it, it sounded sexy in my head, so I... <laughs> hey. Hey! Hey, I'm sorry to do this to you again, but uh, is there any way you can look after Ben for a little bit? I, I've got this meeting at school, and, and he, he asked for his uh, fun Aunt Rachel. To look after. To take care of someone or something, and do what is necessary to keep them healthy, safe, or in good condition. To be responsible for something. Examples. We grew up together. We used to hang out there every day after school. That's right. Because there was no one to look after us. Because our moms both worked and we didn't have fathers because divorce. Pay attention. My last wish is that you look after Bernadette. Of course. Of course. Now when you say look after, you mean... Sexually. Excuse me, Bernadette, I have to hear it from him. Sexually. It's so nice to see you so happy about a guy. Thanks. I don't know, when I look at my life right now, it feels almost perfect. I mean, we have to sneak around, but weirdly, it's kind of fun that nobody knows. To sneak around. To do something without someone's knowledge. To be dating with some amount of secrecy. To move around some place in a quiet manner. Examples. Look at us. Sneaking around in the middle of the night like a couple of cat burglars. I think we're more like ninjas. I don't want to be a ninja, I want to be a cat burglar. Fine, I'll be a ninja, you be a cat burglar. No, we both have to be the same thing. Please come to the movie with us. I mean, you owe me. We owe you? That's right. I helped you guys out a lot in the start of your relationship. Huh? I helped you sneak around for like six months. I looked like an idiot. And, and I was humiliated. And, and I only made $200. We didn't give you any money. Hi, you guys. Hey. Hey. Hi. Listen. I was um, thinking about... Like... Listen, can you guys uh, speak up? It's harder for us to hear you when you lower your voice. To speak up. To speak more loudly so that people can hear you. To say something to protest about something or defend a person. Examples. Bernadette, Marianne, Rostin Kowski. Speak up! Wait, from now on, she's the only woman who can yell at me! She's 
also gonna have to go through a very public trial where they drag her name through the mud. Even if she wins, she still loses. It's two steps forward, one step back. Yeah, but when one person comes forward, it inspires others to speak up. And that's a hell of a lot better than taking a deal that lets sexual predators walk free. You know that we care about you. And it's because we care about you that we've decided we have to speak up. <laughs> Hurting the people around you, sweetie. So we made you an appointment, and we want you to keep it. <laughs> Department of Motor Vehicles' new driver handbook. There you go. You put on a tuxedo. <laughs> now, that wasn't so scary, was it? No. <laughs> I'm telling you just a little bit at a time. Yeah, OK, well, what's the next little bit? Getting married. <laughs> to put on. To cover a part of your body with a piece of clothing, jewelry, etc. So that you are wearing it. Add or increase an amount of something. For example, if you put on weight, you become fatter. To spread a cream, liquid, powder, or other substance on your skin or hair. To make a device or piece of equipment start working, especially by pressing a switch to activate something. Examples. What's going on? Put on your noise canceling headphones because it's gonna get loud. <laughs> oh, not this again. Okay, so what is it? Am I hideously unattractive? No, you are not. You are very attractive. You know what? I go through the exact same thing. Every time I put on a little weight, I start questioning everything. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, I, I, I put on a little weight? Did you want yeah, to? Uh, <laughs> More to the point, it's about finding a way to keep Leonard and Stephanie together. I'll tell you what you shouldn't do. Don't spritz them with that body spray from the commercial where the women undress when they smell it. That doesn't work at all. No matter how much you put on. If I want the girl to kiss me, first thing I do is make my lips look irresistible. How do you do that? Now, you can't tell anyone, but uh, I put on shiny lip balm. <laughs> oh, hey! Hi! Could we put on the news? I think it might be raining. Oh, just hold on a sec. I'm watching this rugby thing on ESPN. I'm gonna put on some music. Maybe, maybe I'll dance for you. <laughs> Have a good time. Maybe go dancing? Oh, gee, thanks, but I'm not really in the mood. To go out. To leave your house and go somewhere, especially to do something enjoyable. For example, to go to a party, a bar, the cinema. To have a romantic relationship with someone and spend a lot of time with them. Examples. I want to go out and meet a woman. So go. Well, I need a wingman. I don't want to come off like a lonely loser. <laughs> And you think my presence will help with that? <laughs> well, I do. Uh, next to you, I look like a catch. I think I'm gonna run to the ladies' room. Okay. okay. I'll join I'll, you. I'll get her. Okay. Thank okay. You. So, uh, well, this this is uh, this is awkward. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, because Rachel and I used to go out. <laughs> oh, I didn't I didn't know that. Oh. Well then, this is awkward. <laughs> You're going out on a date with the noisy guy upstairs? Well, he's very charming. <laughs> I know he's too charming, but if you two start going out, then it's just gonna make it so much harder for me to hate him. Well, you're just going to have to try. <laughs> Let's slide over to Sheldon's spot and make out. But you know what? I'm not gonna let him get away with that. We have to sneak around, but weirdly, it's kind of fun that nobody knows. We're bagging on Sheldon here, focus! So wait, you're just gonna give up? Oh, I'm not giving up. Oh, I never give up. 